So I wanted to make a retail pet peeves video. Honestly, <laughs> the holidays have nothing to do with this. I wanted to say that this was because, oh, the holidays are coming and retail this and retail that. And no, Florida is under a state of emergency. People are being evacuated. There is a hurricane on the other side of the state. That's affected our side because I guess a lot of people here are freaking out on our side. I mean, everybody here is freaking out. We are getting a lot of people who are going up, who are leaving or are coming this way just to stay out of that zone. People who don't really um, have a place to go further up north um, or west is the west, right? Yes, west. I have no sense of direction. I have been in retail for almost two years. Retail pet peeves. First thing I wrote down was opening the box. Oh my God, why do you have to open the box? Sometimes I get it and sometimes it's okay. And specifically the area I'm over, which is housewares, the kitchen appliances. There is a display box right there. And it's a pain in my butt because I have to repackage it and I can't figure out how to get it back in the box. I can't, okay? I've never in my life been able to get anything in the box properly. <laughs> Shut up. There's all those styrofoam pieces and everything's covered in plastic. And then there's pieces of random cardboard, which I'm like, why is there cardboard here? Why is there an extra piece of cardboard? I don't understand why. So stop, stop doing that. No, bad, do not open the box. Wrecking features. I feature an item. Usually I put microwaves out or bedding. Yes, okay, seriously, like. <sighs> God forbid that I just straightened up that aisle, that bedding right there, yeah. For instance, I just um, did a feature of blankets and they're rolled up and you can see what the blanket is. First off, there's a picture on there and you can see it. You can see what it is. You, what, it says on every, every single blanket you buy will tell you how big it is. Just because you can't figure it out in your head you gotta open it up and you gotta look at it and then you just lay it there and I gotta come back and I gotta figure out how to roll the dang thing up. That's not fun for me. I don't have time for that. I really don't. I really do not have time for it. Carts. You gonna run me over with your carts. Really? You wonder why our buggies are all dented and they don't run right? Because A, people run them over with cars. B, people don't take care of them. They just shove it any which way and see, they run them into me. When you are in a store, you need to have the same type of like attention that you would have on a road driving a car. Reaching in front of me while I am doing something. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I will be putting away stock on the sales floor. While I'm doing that, just let me know. Don't push me out of the way. Don't reach your hand in front of me. You know what I mean? Like, just say, hey, excuse me, ma'am, can I get that? Holidays, okay, so when the holidays come in, when it's Thanksgiving or, you know, something Christmas Eve and we have to work, don't tell us you're sorry that you have to work. Don't tell me that. If customers would not shop on this day, it wouldn't be a thing. People are shopping on Thanksgiving day. Some people don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Some people just are all about getting those certain deals that they've been looking for. They're gonna shop on Thanksgiving day. When a customer walks up to me and says, do you work here? No, I do not work here. I just have a giant yellow spark on my back, leaving random crap anywhere and everywhere. You can even go up to the register and while you're checking out, say, hey, this particular item, I don't want it. I'm not interested in buying it anymore. And I highly recommend doing this when it comes to perishable items, food, any consumable item. I don't want to find that. Ew. And then people hide it. They hide it. Why are you hiding it? When I was in apparel, I noticed there was this really bad smell. I could now see where the smell was coming from. Someone had taken vanilla ice cream. They hid it underneath the clothes. Just thinking about the mess that I had to handle. It literally had maggots in it. I had to stop mid rant because my camera started to heat up. I rant. When I start to rant, guys, I'm a master complainer. Saying that we don't have something and then you have to argue with me. Why is it out? Because we sold it all. 
Why did we sell it? Because we're a retail store and we sell things. And I'm sorry, that particular item just happened to sell quicker than we can get it in. Uh, check the back. Are you sure you don't have it in the back? I think you have it in the back. No, I don't have it in the back. Control your kids. Now for the most part, most customers, yes, they do control their kids fine. But some people just let their kids come in unattended and the kids just start wreaking havoc. People who bring their animals in when they are not service animals. I'm perfectly fine with your dogs. Even, even if I know your pet is not a service animal, I usually don't say anything. But some people bring in their little chihuahuas or their little bitty dogs. One time I went in and this lady was at customer service with two of her dogs in the cart. The dogs started fighting. Customers who really need to have a talk, like they really need to talk to me for some reason. Chatty customers, people who just keep wanting to talk to me no matter what. Some customers get it, but then there are those customers who follow me as I'm trying to help another customer. Ah, uh, customers are very needy, usually. Hmm. Those are a few of my pet peeves for retail. I am thinking about doing a why I like retail video because even though I did a lot of pet peeves and complaining and whining in this video, I really do like what I do and where I work. If I didn't like customers and customer service, I would have chose a different job or I would go and look for another job. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comment down below if you work in retail or if you've ever worked in retail and what your likes and dislikes are. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.